Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Judge Bryant's courtroom in Detroit, Michigan, where she takes on a uh, more sovereign citizen who ends up trying to challenge her authority by saying that she is a biased judge toward him. But that doesn't really stop her from doing her job anyway because she completely owns him overall throughout this video. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay. They must have left because their name is different again. Ms. Stevenson, did you all talk to um, Kenny? Yes, Your Honor, that case is ready. Okay. All right, Mr. McCreary, I'm ready. I don't know how this stuff work. I'm new to this, so I'm okay, thinking well, I'll be sir, Hold on, hold on now. Are you with some? Okay. Okay. Just, okay. All right, this is case number. <clears throat> Give me one second, I'm sorry. All right, this is case number um, 02-561-9901. The people of the state of Michigan versus Carnell McCrary. The defendant is charged with one count of assault or assault and battery. Today is the date set for a pretrial conference. Appearances, please, Ms. Ritter. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. And uh, Mr. McCreary, your name? Arnell Michael McCreary, ill, all lowercase, not the all caps corporation. Okay, yeah, here we go. He's one of those soft tards who thinks all caps equates a corporation. No, sir, it does not. I have seen corporations that have all lowercase letters. Does that mean they're not a corporation? Nobody writes the name in all caps. All right. So today is the date set for um, <clears throat> a pretrial conference. And Mr. McQuarrie, I understand that you are representing yourself. So how do you wish to proceed, sir? Um, first and foremost, if I may address the court and ask the court a few questions, with all due respect, Mr. No, Pete. I don't answer questions. <laughs> <laughs> to counsel. Well, I don't answer questions. That's not my well, role. Well, I just wanted I just wanted to say, you know, when I first came on to the Zoom, I felt that this court was disrespectful and restrained my first amendment right to allocate myself here in this courtroom. And I'm not saying this as a personal attack, but that's just how I felt. Like, well, dude, it's just something you're going to have to get used to if you go to court a lot because and this is not a public forum where you can speak freely. There are procedures. There are protocols. You need to follow those in order to be successful. Hey, Mr. McQuarrie, oh. all due respect, I'm not interested in your feelings, sir. I'm here to conduct court. So let's conduct oh. court. How do you wish to proceed as it relates to your court matter? I would like to challenge the plenary jurisdiction of this court as outlined by state Supreme today Court. Is not, uh, today is not the date for a motion. If you would like to file a motion with the court, I can give you a motion hearing. 
uh, date. But otherwise, I want to know as it relates to this pretrial conference where you've indicated that you want to represent yourself, it is um, your responsibility to understand the rules of court and how to represent yourself. Today is only the date set for a pretrial conference. As it relates to the pretrial conference, how do you wish to proceed? Well, if I may speak without being restrained again by the court, with all you're going to be restrained every time you go off course. So, well, understand, I'm on, understand on. every time you go off course, you're going to be restrained. You're going to be restrained right. in the same way that I would restrain any other person, any other lawyer, any other person who's not coming to court and addressing the court in the way that you're supposed to address the court for the pre trial conference. So, I'm asking you, Mr. Yeah. McCary. So, in other words, Mr. Morris Savtard, uh, she's trying to tell you that you're not special here. You're not going to get away with anything. Bravo to her. She's not going to put up with any of your BS. As it relates to the pretrial conference, how do you wish to proceed? I would like to uh, ask that this court remove itself under MCR 2.003 for judicial bias. Well, this soft heart is not exactly going to get into the exact rationale behind his uh, need to uh, get rid of this judge. But here are the disqualifying factors that uh, are in that uh, citation that he just quoted. And, uh, well, uh, if he personally knew her, maybe this would get by. But I don't think so. So... This could just be another stall tactic on his part, uh, like a lot of sovereign citizens try to pull. And once okay, this motion, motion is denied, anything further? Well, I would like to have it sent to the chief judge as required right. by the rule. Mr. Um, Mr. Flanagan, please call the chief judge and let him know that there's a request for rec recusal by Mr. McCrary and ask him how does he wish to proceed with the hearing for Mr. McCrary. Yes, sir. In code of judicial conduct, judge, and I'm I haven't been, been doing this for 16 years. I know what the I know what my what I'm supposed 30, to do, so, Mr. McQuarrie. I'm addressing Mr. McQuarrie. I'm addressing yes, your request on okay. the recusal. So everything else, we're, we're going to stop talking until I hear from the chief judge as to whether he wants you to come now or if he's going to give you a date. Okay. Thank the you. Rule, man. Okay, thank you, Mr. McQuarrie. Thank you, Mr. McQuarrie. Uh, yes, ma'am. Your Honor? Yes, sir. They indicated that he would need to file a motion for recusal before you. And if you deny that, it then goes to the chief judge. He already did. Well, I, I accepted well, his oral motion. I denied it. So tell them it's denied. I'm not I'm not requiring him to file a written motion. The court rules don't require a written motion. He, re he requested the thank you for affirmation, but I don't need it. Boom. Roasted. He requested uh, the recusal and I denied it. So ask them how do how do they want to proceed? I can I can sign a I can sign an order recute uh, of denial if they want me to just do an order of denial. But I've I've denied the recusal request. Yes, Your Honor, the order of denial needs to be signed. And then they're going to give and then they're going to give him a date. How does I mean? In past times. Um, some chief judges take the matter up immediately. So I just want to know, do they want me to give them a date? Do you want her to give a date for that? Or... Okay. Uh, Your Honor, no date. They said, uh, just sign the order and we'll bring it up. They'll contact them for a date. All right. So uh, Mr. McQuarrie, please contact my courtroom. Make sure that my clerk has your a current contact information and apparently the chief judge's office is going to contact you uh, with respect to your um, request for recusal. I will sign an order denying your request um, and then forward that to the chief. Okay. My well, court, how who do you say who do my call? The clerk? I'm what is you, no? I'm, sir, if you just, I mean, I promise you, I've been doing this for, I've been on the bench for 16 years. 
And I promise you, if you just let me talk, I mean, everything you want to know will be revealed. I promise you. Okay. So as I was saying, um, you're going to contact my courtroom and my courtroom phone number is 313-965-5500. And you will speak with the clerk. Let make sure the clerk has your current contact information so that the chief judge's office can contact you with respect to your hearing on my denial of your request for recusal. Anything hello. further with respect to this matter? Please don't unmute. Who is saying hello? Oh, can I speak or no? Oh, well, what is what else is there, um, Mr. McQuarrie? I would like to just say this, Judge. I have nothing personal with you. It's just that Mr. This McQuarrie, is a I don't take matter. things personally. Ms. McQuarrie, let me say something to you. So since we're talking, let's talk. If you it's would treated. if you if you would let the matter proceed, this is an old case. So let me just say this. This case is from 2002. And Correct. maybe if you had watched my courtroom on YouTube, maybe, maybe you would have seen how these old cases from 2002 are handled. And then we could have came on here and it would have been handled the same way. However, however, um, we're going to proceed in the manner that you wish to proceed. And so um, I'm not going to keep going on because you've asked me to recuse myself. I have denied the recusal. You have requested an appeal. I have granted that appeal. And that concludes the matter. Is there anything further um, that is needed for the record? Because you don't have well, to tell me it's not personal. I could care less about, I don't take things personal. <laughs> Why would I take things personal? I, I take it. I take it personally because as a black man, a 50 year old man, this has I, um, nothing to do with you being a 50 year old black man. This has anything to do with you being a defendant in this courtroom. Oh, great. He just had to bring race into this issue. And guess what? She wasn't going to have any of it. So glad she struck that down. Good job. Good job. Is there any legal thing for the record? Is there any legal matter for the record? The prosecutor's office has committed a felony against me. Okay, another one of those more soft turds who wants to blame the prosecution for all their problems. Well, uh, it's not going to work in this case either, dude. Oh yeah, and there's a time and place for that too, and this is not the time or place for that. Uh, you might want to consult an actual lawyer to uh, determine how to go about uh, figuring that out. Me. Okay, well, yeah, contact. Continue. You can address that with the whoever. Um, you can address that with the appropriate parties, but I'm not. All right, so I'm going to assume that this matter, as it relates to the pretrial conference for Mr. McQuarrie, is concluded. Unless there's something uh, for the record on behalf of the people. No, Judge. Thank you. All right, then, sir. You all set. You have a great day, and you stay safe. Oh yeah. And this is another shining example of why you should never go pro se in a court case because the judge will rip you apart every single time during the pre-trial hearings. I mean, if this guy would have invested a little bit of time and common sense uh, and in getting a lawyer as well, uh, this my kind of thing won't, wouldn't have happened. But hey, it's his right to be a brainless buffoon. If that's what he wants to do, then so be it. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.